Hello traders, FS Piccoletti here. Today is Monday, December 4th, and this is my analysis of Bitcoin, starting on the monthly, working my way down to that one hour time frame for the full top down analysis. So on Bitcoin, I'm definitely still looking at this move down as a trend, which is why I still believe this is a wave A. I still believe this move up is a three wave pattern, which would be a wave B. I think it's gonna turn at the 50, which I have been saying for quite a while, the 50 is very likely, or possibly the 61.8 and end up going back down to make a wave C. I still think it's going to go down, take out these lows someplace around the twelve to $8,000 area to finish off a wave C before it really does end up continuing the uptrend. So that way it can trap everybody in a buy right now and then it will go down, trap everybody in a sell and then it's probably going to continue the uptrend from there. So taking it down to the weekly time frame, on the weekly I personally think it's very clear that this move over here is a 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 wave A. I also think it's very clear this is 1, 2, 3 waves down wave B and this is an uptrend right here for the wave C. I've been trying it saying for quite some time now that the 58% is very likely especially because the 100% Fibonacci extension of wave A projected out the bottom of wave B lines up really well with that 50% area so if we get an end of a trend on this 50% area, especially on the sort of time frames, I would definitely exit my longs and potentially go sort because I think it's going to be the end of a wave B. This down here is a big wave A and it's going to go down to make a wave C. So let's take it right down to the daily time frame. Daily time frame, I can even make out a 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 shape. We're bouncing off this fib. So now what I want to see is like a double top with a break of strutzer. If I see that, especially if it holds this fib level, that's what's going to tell me this is the end of an A, B, C, or B. And that's what will turn me into a seller. Until I actually see this picture right here, I would actually still be looking for longs on shorter time frames. Going down to the 4 hour time frame, like I said, we do have a little bounce right here but I don't think it's the end of a trend yet because this looks like a one two so this would if anything be a three it would probably have to make a four and a five that double top then break up starts to the downside is what would tell me that this is possibly the end of a way B and the continuation of the downtrend so taking it right down to the one hour time frame. One hour time frame, really one of the things you could be doing right now is putting your Fibonacci retracement on this move up because we probably are going to at least make a wave four correction, which would most likely be at least a 38 or a 50% retracement of this move up. And then I would expect to see at least one more push up for wave five. And then if we get a holding the 50% still with a break of starts to the downside, like I said, that's what's going to tell me we are looking at a wave B. If we never see this picture, if it never breaks starts it to the downside, I would actually continue to look for longs because it could potentially go beyond this 50%, even up to the 61.8.8, and who knows, maybe it'll go a lot further than that. So either scenario, I am looking for longs, at least until I see this picture right here with a break of starts it to the downside. So don't forget to join my free Discord channel. The link for that is on the screen and in the description. Thanks and happy trading.